Hello and welcome to this Unitrends Solution Learning Series video. This one is based on a basic configuration for reliable DR. So what we're going to do with this video is just go through the very, very basics of a configuration that is needed to get reliable DR up and working. And you'll be pleasantly surprised at how little it takes. So we have an assumption that you've already installed Reliable DR as per one of our other videos. You've also created the net virtual networks inside vCenter, which is again detailed in a separate video. So what I'm going to show you is how we can pull all that together and how we can get Reliable DR to function and to work and to look at a very, very simple backup. So when you log into the website, so you give it the IP address, the DNS name, whatever it is that you've set Reliable DR up to go to, you log in with the default credentials first time round of admin and password. Once you log into here, as you'll see, there is literally no configuration. There's no jobs, there's no reporting on the compliancy. This is, of course, fairly standard. So the first thing you need to do is come down to infrastructure and in here you select the servers tab. So when you select this, what you can do is come over here to the add. And this is where we're going to add things like vCenter because the way Reliable DR works is it reads the information out of vCenter or it reads it out of Hyper-V or it reads it off our backup appliances. So depending on what what you need to configure is depending on which one of these that you choose. Now, this option here is just saying, if I want to connect to vSphere, how do I connect to it? If I want to connect to a Unitrends backup appliance, how do I connect to it? So it's literally just usernames and passwords. So for my vCenter, um, I'm going to call my first one vCenter prod because it's my production box now here under server either put the IP address or the fully qualified domain name do not use the short name because that can actually lead into problems later on with the application testing so once you've put in the IP address give it the credentials that are there and do test connectivity just to prove that actually the stuff that you've put in works and that the server has connectivity to that machine so that's what that all works I do save so that's my production vCenter so I'll do it again for my uh, vCenter for DR so again Username and password and test connectivity just to make sure it all works and save. Now, actually, that is the absolute basics of a configuration that you need. And you could even just use one vCenter here. Uh, as I said, I could now run through, I could add Hyper-V, I could add my um, recovery series or my Unitrends backup devices. But that would be the absolute minimum. If I want to add storage arrays, then that's where I would go next. But we'll do a separate video on those. So just to carry on from this, even though this is a basic configuration, just to show you how these relate inside a job. If I select the jobs tab and then right click on here and say add job. This is now where I can choose whether it's Hyper-V. Unitrends, storage related or reliable DR. Now, just to give you a taste of how to configure these jobs, if I do reliable DR replication, choose next, this is where I now see those V centers. So I'll say I want to go from my production V center to my DR V center. I choose next. What it then shows me is using a filter all of my virtual machines that are available on these hosts. So actually there's a little filter item here where you can start to look at folders, data stores, um, 
just running stuff up and down or actually if you've got a lot of machines being able to search um, using the filter so if I just said I wanted these two machines so dev server 3 and dev server 1 it adds them over onto the right hand side I choose next I can then say what resources do I want to use at my DR site so it's pulled this information from my DR so if I want to use a resource pool that I've already got there I can choose that what data store do I want to use what network do I want to use at that site so I've got here I've created some varying different networks for different customers um, or for your own environment so my recovery network which will be my live one I'll choose my live the test network will be my reliable DR so that's my isolated network I could even put these machines into folders but all this has been pulled straight out of vCenter I choose next do you want to do fail backs obviously that's fail over if you want to do fail back then you just tell it the resources you wanted to use on the production site so I'll just quickly fill these in So as you see, for things like VM folder, I don't have any on that site, so I don't need to put them in. So it's going to it's going to create them if it fails back in the root of the folders. When do you want to schedule this? So do you want it to be just on demand, or normally you will schedule this whether it's once a day? So maybe you want to schedule this for um, 4 a.m. and it's going to happen every day starting today and save give it a name um, we'll just call this DR test very imaginative but there we go um, we can even add things in like post custom scripts how many recovery points so these are my certified recovery points so how many good copies do I want to keep continuous dependencies we'll talk about those in a separate video as well and do finish and that's it I've now created a job and um, so I've done my very basic configuration I've also got that machine there so there are additional settings down under the settings option but these are more advanced options things like um, the extensions to put on the end of the names of a job um, concurrent tasks timeouts these sorts of things but that's it really that's a basic configuration for reliable DR so you add in your V centers you add in um, your hyper V hosts your backup clients and that's it really you're good to go that was an informative little video for you we've got lots more of these with regards to reliable DR but also regards to our backup and other products so please come and have a look at the Unitrends learning series and let us know what you think thank you very much